Hey guys, welcome to the cutscene tutorial. I've been getting a lot of questions lately regarding cutscenes, and I figured instead of just answering everyone's questions separately, I'll just make one big tutorial that everyone can follow. Uh, there's so many possibilities for cutscenes, though. We're probably not going to be able to cover all of it in one little session here, but, you know, we'll try. Alright, uh, what we have here is a preset little built map of trees. I mean, you ought to do that just, you know, wherever your cutscene is going to take place. And uh, I'm going to show you first how to make one that is more of a movie, you know, like it's not, uh, your character isn't involved. So what we're going to do is we're going to make the player starting position, which is this little S right here, and you can just click and drag it to move it. Uh, we're going to put it up in a corner somewhere that's out of the way and we're gonna make an event somewhere else it doesn't matter where it is I'm just gonna put mine in corners it keeps it you know organized for me uh, and in this event we're gonna make a new event and uh, on page two we're gonna go to set move root for the player and we're gonna change opacity to zero which will make your character invisible right off the start and uh, go ahead and change the trigger from action button to parallel process and what that will do is when you start the game your character will be invisible automatically and uh... this is uh, i used to make movies instead of just games like i would just use rpg maker to make little episodes and stuff like that so this is basically what this is going to be like so uh... let's go ahead and just make a small little fight scene uh, and double click wherever uh... graphic pick somebody I'm gonna pick this blue guy. Okay, and we're gonna make another one uh, facing him on the other side of all these trees. Not the other side of all the trees. The opposite side of him. And uh, it'll be a little cat girl. All right. Cool. Oh, and I guess we need to give him a name. So I'm gonna name the blue guy Bob up here. And we're gonna name the cat Cat Girl. Okay, and to do this little cutscene here, we're going to make another event. Or you can just use the one you made the player invisible on. Uh, and use that or make a new one. Uh, anyways, so I'm just going to go ahead and use that one. So I'm going to make, like, it's going to start off, uh, Bob is going to say, Hey, cat girl, you stole my cookie. He's gonna say back. Or here we'll go to. Uh, let's see, where is it? Page two. Uh, show animation. And you can pick the event you want the animation to be shown on. So uh, in this case, it's gonna be Cat Girl. And I'm gonna scroll all the way to the bottom and pick E M exclamation. So it's gonna a uh, little exclamation is gonna appear above her head. And it's gonna say like cat girl colon. Uh, I did not blah blah blah. And so now we have the basis for our cutscene. So let's go ahead and play test it, make sure I haven't screwed any anything up yet. <coughs> Alright. Let's start out. Hey cat girl, you stole my cookie. Exclamation point. I did not blah blah blah. And then it's just gonna repeat itself. I mean that's it. And uh, you can basically do anything with this. Uh, you can, in your events, you can uh, set move routes, make each event move around the way you want them to, uh, show battle animations, not the event, just click show animation, and then pick an animation to be shown on the NPC, if that makes any sense. So like, show animation, let's see, earth, on cat girl. Actually, we're gonna change it to like light one, so we can tell that's what's getting hit. All right, play test. Hey, cat girl, you stole my cookie. I did not. Blah blah blah. And then the light effect shows on her, and you can just make battles and things like that. That's simply for that kind of stuff. Uh, you can also go here and. Go to page one. Oh my bad. Page two and set move root. And like we can make cat girl. You pick cat girl up here. Uh, move up, move 
move down, move left, move right. We can, you know, you can make NPCs move around. You can, I mean, you can do anything, and it's all based on the one little event that you made. Uh, and that's it, basically. Uh, that's how you make a cutscene. You, that's, I mean, simple as that, right there. Um. different example. I'm going to go ahead and open one of my games that I'm working on here. Imperium. No, don't save changes, blah, blah, blah. Alright, let's see. Where's a good example here? Uh, road. Okay. Um, if you want a cutscene to be triggered, like we're just going to say that you're walking along and you want some bandits to jump out at you and then you have to fight them and stuff like that. Or here, let's see. What, how are we doing on time? Uh, okay, we're good. Alright, so you want to be walking along and you want bandits to jump out at you. Okay, well what you're going to have to do is make, like, like here, I'll show you. Disregard all of this. I just got to fix it up. Okay, so we're walking around, walking around, walking around. Ignore that guy. And walk around, and we're walking, and oh, it, you know, it stops you. Stop right there. And then you're going to see people jump out and come and get you. Right? And then they're going to talk to you, give us your money, and no harm will come to you. Okay, well, we can pick, you know, what do we want to do? Let's just give them the money. That's the way. Thank you for a generous donation. Thieves vanish. Gone. And then look, you can walk on that same spot and nothing happens. Alright, I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, basically, you have to have a switch and you have to have it turned on. And when you step on one of these blocks, you have to turn it off so that when you step on this block again, it won't turn on. You know what I mean? Like, the switch won't work because the switch is turned off, so the event won't play. So the bandits don't jump out at you again. And, uh, it's basically the same thing. I mean, I have it set to where you, when you step on one of these blocks, uh, these NPCs right here jump out at you. Or will jump over that fence and blah, 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 blah. So, yeah. I know that's kind of confusing. If you have any, like, sp more specific questions, you can go ahead and send those to me in a message. But, besides that, I hope this helped. And, uh, that's it. Later.